New in SOLIDWORKS 2014 is the ability to add bent lofted bends in your sheet metal parts. Here's a simple example of two profiles I have. And in the past, when you did a lofted bend, it would create a formed section between these two profiles. And by formed, what I mean is it adds these smooth sections between them. Then we go ahead and flatten it out, and you can see the overall shape. But perhaps to create this shape, you don't actually want to have a formed piece, but rather you're going to create it in some kind of a brake press or some other means, and you're going to have a number of bends to get around these arced sections. Let's go ahead and delete that original formed loft, and go back to our lofted bend, and we can choose the bent manufacturing method in 2014. And we can go between those two profiles, and now you can see individual bends representing this curved section. So it's made up of a bunch of flat faces with the bends in those regions. Now within these regions you do have different faceting options. You can choose a chord length, a chord tolerance, the number of bends, segment length, or segment angle. Most common will probably be the normal uh, number of bends, or you can choose the number of bends in each of those regions. So if I choose six, you can see how it's made up of six bends to create each of these segments here. The core tolerance indicates the max value that the flat sections, the distance of the flat sections to the actual curved geometry. So the max distance would be this distance in here. Segment length would represent the max length of each of the segments, which would be this distance here. Segment angle would be the maximum angle between each of the flat segments, so between this segment here and this segment here. So if I choose the number of bends, we'll say f 6, you also have pink dots on each of these regions where you can click on them and give faceting options for each of these regions individually, so if you didn't want a, a separate value for individual sections. With that complete, you can see how it's now made up of a number of flat sections with bends to represent each of these curved sections. And now when I flatten it out, what you'll see is we have those bend lines corresponding to each of those bend locations.